this one is on 150 days so I am gonna harvest one little area to see how it's doing the hard part is figuring out who is attached to so there's about five sweet potatoes in here plants originally and so this was originally six slips in a 4x4 bed I did harvest one at 115 days and so that picture will be in the corner It was so hard to get to this point, you guys. It was like I had to fight the Lord for this. And so this here ground oh here God. is clay soil, even though at one point there oh, used to be three feet. So this last little bit, I'm gonna get to let the little youngin get, like, so. Maybe, like you picking up, yeah. Okay. Are. These are so big, you guys. So this is like so difficult getting those out of the ground. They're all really nice size. Joel? This is big. Whoa. Okay, so I'm finishing up the raised bed, so I have a couple more um, piles of sweet potatoes, but what I am noticing is some slips that have uh, just produced other sweet potatoes, and so that's some of them over there. And so when you're growing sweet potatoes, as the vine continues to grow and expand, you can actually develop more roots at the base and those can become established and produce its own potato. Double they get the some of the Japanese out and so those I feel I probably won't be growing next year. They do do good but at the same time I feel like unless you really have a really big space that has soil that is really really fine it's very hard for those to get to size versus the regular types of sweet potatoes did still get pretty good size considering the soil I have and so I normally top off my raised beds every single year I really do now um, I like having at least a foot of compost and just regular soil above my ground soil which is a really clay type so I'm gonna get ready now to get this next bundle as you guys can see here and we'll see how big these are So I learned so many things so far, even though I will be harvesting later on this year. And so in the future, I will not probably be growing the Japanese variety. It is a purple sweet potato. And just because I felt like those were harder to get to a larger size. And so I have grown those in the raised bed as well as a pot. I will have a link down below to the pot. Uh, the next thing too is I will probably most likely stick to just the white and orange varieties that is what we're accustomed to using here in america we don't really use japanese purple and it was a bear getting these out of the soil so either way i will see you guys in the next one bye